Okay, so we were able to successfully build that now that we've rebased our tree off of the U unique. And uh, so we're going to take a look and see what happens when we try to uh, to boot it. Now, we've jumped into Fastboot. As you can see, Fastboot Devices, the device shows up, and I've changed my directory to where I have my file, and then I'm going to... Um, flash that file to the phone. So when you do that, uh, you know, if you type fast boot, um, I have several videos on how to use fast boot, but uh, a couple things to show you. Um, the quick thing is that we want to flash a partition and then the file name. And so uh, this is really, really easy um, because the partitions are kind of name related. So we're going to fast boot flash recovery and then we're going to use this recovery file right here so flash uh, fast boot flash recovery and then this file right here and let's see what we get and it only took a second because it's not very big and then we're going to uh, tell the phone to reboot um, and see what what happens So what you can't see right now is actually the uh, the phone, um, which is now in the recovery mode. And uh, let's jump in here and see if I can pull it up in ADB here in just a second. Just a second. Let me see if I can restart it. Seems to be stuck. Let me uh, pull the battery and we will try this again. All right, so I've got the Team Win Recovery Project screen. I've got 3.2.1. Let's ADB devices. It's not showing up, but let's uh, take a look here. We'll go. This touch screen is not working. So we're not quite there yet. We've got. We've got some function, but not uh, not full functionality. So we're going to have to keep working on that, and uh, and see how we can clean that up. So interestingly, um, just playing around with it a little bit more, it is actually functioning. The screen is not functioning like it displays Team Win Recovery Project, uh, but clicking on any buttons doesn't do anything, touching the screen doesn't seem to do anything, but jumping into ADB, if we look here, now that the phone is plugged in, I can see that it is there, I can ADB shell, and I'm in. And so, uh, I was just poking around a moment ago, but we can, uh, you know, get prop, and we see that we have the Omni Life XL, Life XL, Blue Phone, uh, that uh, all those things that we punched in to our list. So it is actually functioning, but not allowing us to um, utilize the uh, touchscreen. So a little bit more work is going to have to be done here, but uh, we're definitely stepping in the right direction. Um, another thing is we can take a look at uh, like KMessage or a logcat and uh, try to see if there's any information for us. Um, both of these were not found, which is kind of interesting, but if we exit and then we ADB log cat, try that. And it says that log cat does not exist. So it's something obviously that I'm gonna have to work on a little bit more and add some things to it. But here's the great thing. We have it booting and it is actually on. I just can't touch anything by using the screen. So 
this is a good sign. We're we're stepping in the right direction. We've got something that's that's you know, not very functional, but it is functioning, and so uh, so now we have something that we can actually work with here and see uh, see where we can go from here.